Hey dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Okay, so today we are going to a new city. And I believe the way that we get there is through that uh, kind of like resort area. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, okay, because that one guy was blocking out this area before. Yeah, in this like town. Oh, right, we also have a uh, rock climb. Iron, cool, increased defense. Oh, Team 85 Dream Eater, cool. Um, wow, check it out, there's actually paths all over this place. Huh. Maybe there's some more items that we didn't notice before. Oh, hey, we kinda got here before. Let's check it out. That coin to us is why we ended up in this musty old and stinky sweet. Reservations were full up, but they managed to get us in here. We're finally alone, the two of us, if you leave, that is. <laughs> uh, this is something we don't need anymore. Will you take it? Oh, okay, so we got a new app. I see. <laughs> I'll just get out of your hair then. Um, okay. I think this is just another way to get up here. Oh, no. Nice, all kinds of good things here. <laughs> if you leave, that is. That's so funny. Um. I guess let's check down this way. Good thing we decided to bring along paws. Um. Looks like we found a little secret area. Okay. Sure. Gonna have to buy myself some more Max Chavels here in a little bit. What is this area? Doesn't appear to be anything of value down here, huh? I guess we never really did fully explore it. Oh, we can go around this way, I see. <laughs> I like how she like spins around. Level 31. Maybe we should have came here sooner, huh? There's a couple of generations ahead. This thing might be a problem. Yeah, I'm... I'm pretty sure we have to go to the right of that area when we're on land, but there seems to be something down here, so I guess we could have a little optional exploring. Why not? Getting a little more experience anyway. <laughs> and I definitely can use the money. Um, uh, we'll go this way. Ice Fang coming out for sure, dude. It's still four times affected. I know I'm like 10 levels ahead, but you can never be too safe. I think for the most part, since we are so higher level than these trainers, I'll, I'll probably just head out the fights. This man got three Gyarados. Maybe I'll leave in this fight. I like the background, it's pretty cool. We haven't really had that many like battles in the ocean, huh? I like how the background's like changed because of it. Wow, that did zero, dude. Really? Just from that one Intimidate drop? There's no way. I don't know why they made Cuz such a terrible move, too. It's inaccurate. It's not that strong. There's no, like, bonus side effect. Another Gyarados. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. Xerzy has the simple ability. So, whenever I get, like, minus one in attack, it turns into minus two. So now we're minus four in attack. No wonder my attacks are doing far less. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we'll be fine. As long as he doesn't spam Dragon Rage. Oh, nice crit. Alright, so we're all healed up. Max Revive. I guess that's all that was here. Oh, you know what it is? They have you fight a trainer that has three Gyaradoses. So they put a Max Revive at the end because it's such a gnarly Pokemon, right? <laughs> so you have someone to revive your Pokemon at the end of that, like, gauntlet. That's kind of funny, huh? I wonder if that's what they were really going for. If so, it's pretty clever. Uh... Aw, oh, that is one alluring item. Starting to get chilly, I could use a wind to get warmed up. I got bad news for you, my boy. Hello there, aren't you going to swim? I think it's can that every Pokemon character that we ever play as just can't swim. Because we always need a, uh... Pokemon to do so. 
This better be the best item ever. It's just gonna be another revive, isn't it? <laughs> huh. Chill the sea in the coldness of defeat. It's a double whammy. <laughs> What's saltier? My tears are the sea. <laughs> okay, let's see what we worked for. It's a water stone. Okay. Pretty sure I already had one, but I mean, cool. Okay, that appears to be everything in this little mini section, unless I ran past something. Which I very well could have, but that's fine. Let's get this show back on track here. Apparently, if I talk to the guard, I will get healed. Oh, that's cool. Okay, thanks for telling me about that. I wish I knew that before. Yeah, that guy that was blocking the path is gone now. Dope. Route 222. Cool. Oh, it's a new area. I guess let's uh, see what this place has to offer. Watch, well, is gonna be Bidoof. Yo, an Electabuzz. It's so weird actually seeing them in grass and not like in a power plant or something like that, so. Nice, okay, so we got Electabuzz. Who was fighting, dude? I spent like 10 Ultra Balls on this damn thing. <laughs> I need to buy more dust balls. It windmills its arms to slightly boost its punches. Foes have been known to escape in the meantime. <laughs> Alright, so this girl's name is Zips. Sweet. See what this chainer is all about. Need to escape these doldrums. You can keep me company. Oh, he's depressed, dudes. Rich boy Trey, you ain't got nothing to be sad about. Something I like about um, these Pokemon battles is like depending on the character like type, they'll give you that amount of money for beating them in battle. So the rich boys will give you like tons of cash whenever uh, you do defeat them. I think in the later Pokemon games they will like give you uh, Pokeballs too and stuff like that, alongside of uh, just the cash, which is pretty cool. Look at you. Level 48. Did liberate me from the doldrums, but at one price. Nice, dude. Okay, so finally Chomper Z is evolving. Super strong Pokemon right here, dudes. We've had them for so long. Yeah, yeah, it's a very late evolution. Chomper Z evolved into Guard Chomp, dudes. Okay, we have one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game currently. The one learn Crunch. Mm. Dragon Rage is useful for catching Pokemon. That's fine. I think having a little more coverage is probably more useful. You are named Chomper Z after all, so. It kind of goes with the theme, huh? Nice, dude. Okay, we're set, dudes. Got some fishermen. A whole bunch of them, huh? Gotta look at this lineup. Just trying to get through. Oh, we gotta be very quiet, dudes. I didn't do a good job. <laughs> listen, listen, you can tell me what kind of Pokemon you have. I got stuff to do. Oh, look at this ground. Tuber Holly, everyone. <laughs> Tuber Holly. This thing learns the ice type moves. Oh, look at you. Uh, yeah, this thing learns ice type moves. Learns all the beam moves, so... It kind of runs through my squad, actually. Let's go out to Xerzy. Yeah, they can eat a uh, charge beam or two, huh? Signal beam, okay. Maybe it didn't have ice beam at this point, but yeah, that's... It's like gimmick. It'll learn all the beam moves. It looks pretty frail, though, yeah. Fell over. And why is this here? Huh. To avoid the kid, I guess. Pikachu fan club. Pika Pika Pika. <laughs> what was this? Pokemon size contest. Big Pokemon wanted. Oh, we should bring Giratina. Oh, look at all these people. There's so much stuff to explore here. I'm 
My dream is a big one. I want to battle every kind of Pokemon from around the world. Shiller, Luther. Well, don't go to uh, <laughs> the Galar region. <laughs> you won't see them all day. Alright, so we got a Wingle here. Let's go ahead and uh, hit it with our Dragon Claw. God, you look so more hunched up in your <laughs> guard chomp form, my dude. Not used to it. You've been uh, a Gabite for so long. Gastrodon. This thing will fall over. I believe it's more of a Spadef tank. I don't think its defenses are like amazing. Well, let's see if I eat my words. Uh, yeah, wow, eating it up. Aw, oh, but you missed. Nice. Stab Dragon Claw from a Garchomp. And it still ate it. Wow. Machoke. I hope the trainers in uh, the new Pokemon game have a diverse teams. Like this guy, you know? Oh, gone. Lost, but I'm one step closer to realizing my dream. <laughs> so we got an item here. We also got this. Oh, we have to go all the way around for it. I'm trying to hit up a Poké Center. Sunny Shores Gym Leader Volkner has been bored lately, I hear. We need tub challengers to visit so he doesn't get bored. People get up to no good if they have too much time on their hands. If I had to describe Sunny Shore Gym in a word, it would be shockingly electric. Whoops, that's two words. <laughs> Alright, so Chomper Z is going to have a field day with this place. Who's this? Yo, fellow trainer. Your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs, but there's no masking the aura of serious toughness. Sorry, I should introduce myself. The name's Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Oh. I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's been so few good challengers worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. Then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot, it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Alright, if you say so, Flint. Ah, oh, the final area, dudes. This is a major port town, and... It's the gateway to the Pokemon League. I see. Look at this place. The city uses a lot of electricity, especially the lighthouse and the gym. They finally decided to turn all the city's roads into giant solar panels. Sunny Shore is the sunshine city, so the system works perfectly. Pokemon pushing its eco-friendly agenda again, I see. <gasps> finally, we get my luxury balls. Okay, I probably shouldn't buy 26. Yeah. Let's buy 13. Lucky 13. Beautiful. It's my favorite type of Pokeball. I use it for all my Pokemon. Whenever I can, at least. Because it makes the Pokemon look comfortable, so... <laughs> that's why I, uh... Always preferred it. I think it ups their happiness, too, if you catch them with it. I believe. Oh, let's check out our Electabuzz. Zips, everybody. Hey, modest nature. That's awesome. Now, I, I know that Electrovire, its evolution, can run physical sets, but correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is a uh, special attacker by nature. Yeah, so the dude, modest Electabuzz. Uh, what's your ability? Static, okay. Dope. Unfortunately, I don't believe that I have the item to evolve them. It's a, another trade evolution, I know. I, I know I have the one for Magmar, but yeah, the Magmarizer. Did we pick up the one for Electabuzz? I don't remember. I might have to look up where that is and track it down. Dude, Modest Nature, that's dope. 
We still have two other trade evolutions we have to get to. Well, we'll track down the uh, theme for Electabuzz, and then we'll uh, do a big trade theme, yeah. Breathe it in, dudes. The final city of our Pokemon adventure. Whenever we get to the final uh, main city of a Pokemon game that you haven't played before, it's there's always that feeling that's like, oh man, it's almost over, right? All right, so we got ourselves our ground type team here. Mono ground. They call me the ground type gym leader tricks. Oh God, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight no uh, water too. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh wow, look at this place, it's huge. So the floor, it's all solar panels. It's so interesting. I heard that Team Galactic was up to no good. But here in Sunny Shore, we've never even seen any of them around. Of course, our gym leader, Volkner, is invincible in every way. I see. A long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to shun others, and he preferred the company of machines. He was a brilliant student, I recall. I often wondered what became of him. I wonder if we'll ever see Cyrus again, huh? I feel like his conclusion left so much to be desired. Oh, hello. You're quite the nifty trainer. My husband is a sailor and he's off working somewhere far away. Along for the day, he comes back to me. All that waiting gets to be very boring every day, though. I know. How about you visit me and tell me stories every so often? Oh, sure. <laughs> Immediately leaves. Okay, wait. Do I talk to her now? Let's see. Starting tomorrow, please visit and tell me stories about your travels. I see. Hmm. Interesting. Julia's house. Delightful ribbons for Pokemon. Oh, cool. Okay. So another uh, NPC that hands out ribbons. Oh, hey. Yo, hiya. He hasn't come back yet. When he does, you know what you've got to do. Give him a battle that's so hot, it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Well, where'd he go? Wait, don't tell me Barry already beat him. There's no way. No? Maybe he doesn't display it in the front. What was this place? Uh, Sunny Shore Market Selection of World Seals. This is what you guys were telling me about. We, uh can buy these and when we send out our Pokemon, they'll have all those cool effects. Let's see, yeah, I already checked in here. It was all about the underground stuff. I think we've seen just about everything. Like, where's the gym leader? No wonder he's getting no battles because he's never around. Well, we didn't really explore this area too much, did we? Yeah, I guess not. Um, if I, <laughs> if I run into a water trainer, I'm kind of screwed. We could go hard Aerith, though. Yeah. Or Chompers. Only does Mono to him. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice. Uh, okay. Dope. My Steelix is pretty big. Uh, yeah. I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I jumped out a trainer. Would bring me a giant Remo raid. Oh, I see. Okay, so... It looks like another, uh person who wants to see specific Pokemon. I guess we can catch one of them here. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of Pikachus. Look, that one's tail was like clipping to the, <laughs> the wall. Did you see? Hello. Okay, which one's the fake one? <gasps> there actually is a fake one. Biga Biga Pikachu? <laughs> it's an ambush, dudes. I actually knew it. Please have a Pikachu, nothing else. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I only have ground types. Alright, Ness. Pikachu about to have a terrible day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to... Well, actually, Aerith no Surf. I, I'm a little hesitant taking Mono Ground into the water. <laughs> That's actually so funny. You know what? It, it's cool. We should get a couple levels for our mons before we uh, head straight into the gym blind anyway, huh? I suppose. Sorry, Pikachu. <laughs> the other Pikachus are like just looking at us like, well. 
<laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> uh, hello? You're a Pikachu as well. Okay, that's so funny, dude. I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One extremely pointless room. It, it was cute though, huh? Uh, okay, so we got a Pokeball over here. I suppose let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, wait a minute. If there's a bunch of electric type Pokemon, this would be a great place to uh, grind, huh? We didn't check up here either. Yeah. Oh, what's the worst this person could have on their team, dudes? I ain't afraid. After enjoying a meal in the hotel restaurant, one has a battle. That's the social etiquette. You wouldn't understand, dudes. It's Beauty N Nicola, everyone. Low punny. Cool. Okay, this thing uh, does have jump kick. <laughs> I kind of put myself in a terrible situation. Um, wait, I have a plan. We'll go out to our El Diablo. Right. Because we got a... Oh, you're actually going for the Dizzy Punch, I see. Okay, this is a chance to confuse me. And it is Stab. But I put Life to Use Recovery on El Diablo. And now on the chance that they do go for Jump Kick, I want to protect. Because I want, I want to cheese them. Let's see. Let's see if they'll go for Jump Kick for whatever reason. Huh? That would be so f Oh my god, predicted, dude. I mean, it outsped me anyway, but <laughs> it's just funny how that worked out. Let's go ahead and get a nice little nice little chip right here, okay? Yeah, I got straight up predicted by this little funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um Oh, they're thinking I'm going for the double protect. Because it's so easy to get in this game, I feel. <laughs> Do you think I'll live it? Huh. Nice. And we can actually finish him off with the uh, sandstorm right here. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Trying to charm us to the last second. Okay. There you go, Ness. No jump kick, huh? Enchanting. Oh wow, I think we impressed her, dudes. The only times you ever throw are Pokeballs. But is that true? I want people to think about that. That's why I give away the TM Fleen. Oh, cool. Alright, so this will throw your item that you're holding to your opponent. And then they'll be, uh, I believe. Right. Okay, so we got an officer here. They're only fight us at night. Oh, double battle with two water users. I don't have Xerzy, so I can't cut through there. Yeah, that's where the item was. But it doesn't look like there's much more to this place. Other than a couple berries. You know, whenever I get to a new Pokemon game, I'm going to miss all of our little spots that we have for our berries. It's been so useful. Yeah, it just goes back to that place. I wonder what else we could have got here, dudes. Getting a modest was so lucky. There are the things. Yeah, they really want you to go underground in this area for whatever reason. Couldn't tell you why. Uh, we, we could just swim past this. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Quick ball. Nice. Let's see what else is on this route. Wingle. Yeah, Pelipers can be actually really, really bulky. And they have access to Roost. So you can like put Toxic Roost. Protect. It could be one of those spawns. It has a handful of weaknesses. But it also has a handful of resistances. So it's really just how you play them. Uh, Yeah, okay. So that just goes around there. Well, it looks like we fully explored this place. I thought it was much bigger... 
uh, at first glance. But when I was recording earlier, I was admittedly kind of out of it. Um, okay, so... Let's see. What do we got here? Where do we go? It's a blank sign painted white. Weird. Uh, this just goes back up here. <laughs> I'm like afraid of the sailors. Uh, whatever the environment, people in Pokemon adapt to live there. That's what we all do to survive. I see. Hello. Jasmine. The city makes me feel at home somehow. It's next to the sea and there's a lighthouse. Wait a minute, this is from the gym leader for Gen 2? Oh, if you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. No way! You know what? I was just thinking to myself, I wish more, like, gym leaders from past gens would actually show up. And this is actually Jasmine. Dude, this is so cool. That's funny because uh, when we ran into the Elite Four member, I was like, man, I wish we would see some old gym. What are the chances of that, dude? Jasmine, where's your Ampharos? I too have a Steelix. <laughs> it's cool. Mm. Oh, there's a new area. Um. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about being here with this team, huh? Yeah, let's head back. Yeah, I wanted to blow back this gym leader. <laughs> Alright friends, so we're gonna end this here, and tomorrow I guess we'll be exploring the open sea trying to find this gym leader. Alright, well, I'll see you then dudes. Peace.